Hey guys, so it is Saturday morning. It is very cold here in Dallas. It's very winter-like weather, not even fall in my opinion. And this was still not warm enough for me to go out. I don't know why I'm talking about that. But I went to Walmart and I got kind of like some groceries and some decor. I actually went there to get um, air filters. And this is what I came back with. All right, I picked up some organic green onions. I love these. I put these in my baked potatoes and a lot of other meals, but mostly baked potatoes. I got some of these Danibles squeezable yogurts and strawberry banana and a strawberry. These are just easy, like little snacks for my daughter to have. I know they're probably for like two year, two year olds, but it's yogurt. Yogurt's good. And she actually eats these all the time. So, um, I got those and honestly what makes it so convenient is because you don't have to have a spoon so and for a teenager who's typically lazy those are perfect um, I also picked up some prepackaged fruits I'm just noticing for myself that if I buy the prepackaged I eat it more than if I buy it individual if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense my dog is eating what I tell you guys She must find something soothing about me talking. Okay, the only thing about the fruit is they're kind of expensive each and you get a better deal with um, buying them individually, especially if you have a large family, I probably would not recommend these at all. But because it's just me and my daughter, it's okay. But for my Sunday night dinner, I did have steak. I don't always have steak. This is something I have maybe like twice a year. And this is probably that second time of year. I got some Black Forest ham. I got some jumbo croissants. I actually did a recipe tutorial for you guys, I believe, on how I make my croissant ham and egg and cheese sandwiches. It's on my vlog channel in case you're interested. And I ran out of toothpaste, so this is the brand that I get, the Aqua Fresh. And the last food item is just some milk. I kind of go between whole milk and 2%. So that pretty much takes care of all the food items. Now let me show you the decor. I'm really excited because I feel like I hit the jackpot. But the first thing that I saw walking in was this giant lighted up bow. Like look how long that tail is. And yeah, I don't know how this, I'm gonna have to run I think a cord, but the first place I thought of was above my garage. And this was only $14. I love it. The moment I saw it, I was super happy. I also picked up some more garland. I get all of my garland at Walmart. This is the 12 foot non-lit because I feel like it's cheaper to get non-lit garland and then add lights to it. Maybe it's not, but in my head, I think it's cheaper because the pre-lit garland was like nine bucks each and it was the same 12 foot. Whereas these are $3.98 and then I can buy the clear lights and string it. Um, and so I got four of these. I already have a ton of garland from my last house, but I want to get more so that I can decorate the staircase. These are the lights I was actually talking about and I think they're like a dollar something. So I feel like it is a better deal because if I were to add a dollar or a dollar fifty to this, it still comes under nine bucks. So, yeah. So, but I got this not for Christmas. I got these white lights with the white wire for my daughter's bedroom so that she can hang up stringy lights. She had these, but they've been out since then. So these are for her. And I don't know if you saw my Amazon haul, but I showed you guys that tapestry. I finally got it. Ironically, I got it that same day that I did the video where I was like, I'm gonna have to wait a month and a half. Um, but I got that tapestry, so she's gonna hang it up on her wall and then add, you know, the little lights and make it bohemian because I think that's what's in. But she's always been gypsy bohemian. And then, this cute little like farmhouse. It's got this little thing, but I'm probably just gonna like lay it or something as a piece of decor somewhere in the house. It was $4. And 74 cents like are you kidding me 
This is so adorable in my opinion. I feel like at Hobby Lobby, this would probably run $12 with a coupon. The next thing, look at this. Haven't you guys seen these? These are fantastic. And every time I see them, I think I'm gonna have to like break the bank to get this. And this was on sale for $16. It's like on a rollback sale. So if you have always wanted one of these and you thought you were gonna have to spend 40 bucks, they have a ton to choose from at Walmart. They have even longer ones that say like peace. Um, they had all kinds of one, but this was the last one that I found and it was my favorite. I love the tree. It says Merry Christmas in red. And then you get like, it is just really pretty, the white snowflakes. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it just yet. It's all gonna depend on, you know, me getting all my stuff out. So I don't know if it's gonna go outside or if it's gonna go like inside, but it does come with a stand. So make sure that you check yours, make sure it comes with a stand. Otherwise, if it doesn't, you can still lean it up against something, you know, a wall. And it also has, wow, that's like really nice. So if you wanted to just put it on a wall, you have that option too. I'm lazy, but I got the chalk paint spray paint chalk spray paint and it is in the chiffon cream color i didn't want a white linen i wanted to make sure it was like a cream off white so it is sandable so i'm going to be working on that project today so i'll be filming that video for you guys um other than that i bought some ornaments because every year i buy ornaments i can't help myself and i bought these little clips that have like the little like burlap feel to it yeah, so they were each $1.94, and I got six of those. Okay, so the next one, I bought this one. It's just a cute little sleigh. It's got some, like, look at the presents and the tree leaning up against, and it even has, like, snow on it. And the only reason why I got one, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Last night, the football game, it was so cold, and I take the photos of the girls, and so my toes, my hands, I was frozen to death. And I think I'm just like losing my voice from that. But the only reason why I got one of these was that I just thought it was a cute decor piece and I could put it like in my office next to like my monitor and it would be like a cute little, hey, you know, cause most of the time during the day, you're, a lot of us are looking at a computer. And so it's just kind of nice to like look, have this, you know, the side of your eye. And I think this is the last one, which is this, glittery white elephant so every year is a tradition I buy my daughter a new ornament and I always pick it out it's always like a surprise for her and um, I decided to get her this elephant because elephants are her favorite and recently at homecoming her date boyfriend I don't want to get into that I don't want to get into that but he's adorable he um, his suit, he had like the little, uh, what do you call it, handkerchief, and he got, it was a black handkerchief with white elephants on it because he knew that she loved elephants. And I was like, that is so thoughtful. Like it blew me away that he put in that cute little detail, but it reminded me that she doesn't have an elephant ornament. So I got her one. Okay, and the very last thing, which is the only reason why I went to Walmart, <laughs> was to get this. And I come out with all of this, but I did get two in here and um, it was 15 bucks, but it lasts up to three months. Yeah, it captures dust, pollen and mold spores in your air. But I do have to put in some filters because it's been three months since my last set have gone in. And that is my haul from Walmart. I know it was very random, kind of like food and decoration. I'm still on the lookout for my favorite candles. It's called Evergreen and Apples, I think. Um, if you look back at my last Christmas bedroom Christmas makeover, you'll see that candle burning. And i am been obsessed with that candle ever since. And I'm like waiting for Walmart to put it out, but I haven't seen it yet. But I also haven't seen them put out their winter collection either. So, Hopefully right after Halloween, they'll start putting out their new candles, um, but I'm on the hunt for it. So if you're at your Walmart and you see those, let me know, because then it's going to inspire me to like go to other Walmarts, because I will. I will travel for this candle.
All right, guys, so I'm gonna put all this stuff up. I'm gonna get started on this project. I have some editing as well to do, and then I'm gonna like read a book and watch some fall movies and get curled up in a blanket. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.